Microsoft Windows 10 Professional Enterprise has the ability to use what's called remote desktop, but sometimes it doesn't work, so we need to troubleshoot it. And it's typically one of two reasons. So let's go at, to the control panel and see if we can figure out those reasons. All right, so we're in our control panel after doing a search from the start button and then clicking uh, search and typing control panel. And we are in our control panel under the large icons, although you might see the category icons instead. I don't prefer that. I like the large icons better. So what we're going to do is click on the system icon. And from here, click on the remote settings. And in remote settings, you first of all want to make sure that the allow remote connections is working. Second thing is sometimes you're using a client that may not be new enough to use this in Windows 10. So uncheck this box, click apply, and that allows you to use an older client. So go ahead and try it again. And if that works, that fix your problem, then that's great. Another thing you want to check is selected users. So you see that there's just a couple of users. There's myself and the administrator that has access. So if you're trying to get in as another person, then you want to click Add and then type that person's name in here. If you type the person's name and you get an error message like this, then that means you didn't type it correctly. So you can go to the Users folder, pardon me, the Users icon over under All Control Panel, User Accounts and then just make sure that the user that you want is in here. Otherwise, just go ahead and create a new user. So let's go back to where we just were and take a look at the other reason it might fail. Click on Windows Firewall, and from here, click on Advanced Settings. So if we click on the inbound rules, we'll see possibly why it is that this is failing. So you want to scroll all the way down to the R's, make sure it's sorted by name, until we get to Remote Desktop. Now you can see here, Remote Desktop, TCP in. This is the one you want to make sure is enabled. Now in this case, it is enabled, but if it looks like that, then it doesn't have the green check mark, then that means that that is not enabled and you need to do that. Now if you're trying to get in from the outside, you should do one more thing, and that is right click on it and go to Properties, and then click on Advanced, and make sure that it says, to allow edge traversal. So I'll go ahead and drop down and choose allow edge traversal and then click apply. So what that does is if you're getting in from another uh, network such as from the outside or from another subnet inside your building, then uh, the block edge traversal or one of the other options uh, may keep this from working properly. Also make sure that all three of your different types of profiles are selected and checked. Go ahead and hit apply. So now you know most likely all the reasons why remote desktop can fail. Of course, you do need to edit your firewall that leads you out to the internet as well to open up port 3389 on TCP.